So we have, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, the mean of the commute time to work for a resident of Boston, Massachusetts is 23, sorry, 27.3 minutes. Assume that the standard deviation of commute time is 8.1 minutes to answer the questions below. So let's highlight our important information. So we have that the mean is 27.3 minutes. And the standard deviation is 8.1 minutes. We don't know anything about a BM bell curve, so we can't use empirical rule. Right? And notice this says minimum percentage. So that uh, lets us know that we should be using um, shabby shoves. Right? So what's the minimum percentage of commuters in Boston has a commute time within two standard deviations of the mean? So within two standard deviations, so that tells us that K is 2. So I'm going to do 1 minus 1 over K squared times 100, and then add my percent sign back on. So this is going to be... 1 minus 1 over 2 squared times 100, add my percent sign, and I can type that all in the calculator. So I have 1 minus 1 divided by 2, hit the square button, close my parentheses, so I'm going to perform that first, then multiply by 100, and I'll convert it to a percent, and hit enter. So we're looking at the minimum percentage is 75. So B asks, what's the minimum percentage of commuters that are within 1.5 standard deviation? So this tells us that K is 1.5. So same idea here. So 1 minus 1 over. 1.5 squared times 100, and then add the percent sign. So let's do that over here in our calculator. So parenthesis, 1 minus 1 divided by 1.5 squared. Close the parenthesis, because we're going to do that first. Then multiply by 100 to convert to a percent. So this is, let's change this to approximately equal to 56%. And then C asked us, what are the commute times within 1.5 standard deviations of the mean? So you have to do a little bit of work here. So we're going to assume this population. So we're going to take the population mean and subtract 1.5 times the standard deviation, and then I'll give us one of our values. So that's going to be the, oops, the mean of 27.3 minus 1.5 times 8.1. So let's do that. So we're going to do 27.3 minus 1.5 parentheses, that just means multiplication, right? 8.1 and enter. So 15.15, so that's one of our values. We'll do those on divide. And then we're going to do the mean plus 1.5. So I'm just going to write this out. So I'm going to do second enter and then I'll pull up what I just typed in and go over and just change this minus to a plus here. And then press enter. So 39.45. So we're looking at 15.15 minutes. And 39.45 minutes. There are two times that are within 1.5 standard deviations away. 
So part D asks, what is the minimum percentage of commuters who have a commute time between 3 minutes and 51.6? So we have to figure out how many standard deviations these are away. So I'm just going to take my mean and start subtracting standard deviation. So that's one standard deviation below, two standard deviations below, and three standard deviations below. So we're at three below. And since we're dealing with Chevy shells, these have to be the same number of standard deviations away. So this is three above. So K is going to be three. So this is going to be one minus one over three squared times 100 and then add the percent sign back on here. So let's compute that in our calculator. So 1 minus 1 divided by 3 squared times 100. And so we get changes to approximately equal to 89%. So that's how we use Chevy Show's inequality.